Welcome and thank you for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at an online hobby tool that has blown my mind. So what I'm talking about here is a Shadow War Armageddon Kill Team Rasta Generator. It's called Shadow War Zone and not only does it let you create kill teams, it has a bunch of other features that we'll go over in this uh, hobby tip slash review. But first of all, let's uh, hit the about link. This is made by a guy calling himself Cadian Shark. He's a really nice guy, so don't be afraid to uh, hit him up uh, with ideas or if you find a bug or something in the system. I've been uh, chatting a bit back and forth with him on Twitter, and he also told me a bit about what he is uh, working on to improve this already nice system. But more on that later. Right now, let's look at creating a new kill team. We select a faction and let's take Grey Knights because they don't have a lot of members and call the kill team Hammer of Truth. So you can see here we have used zero out of a thousand points, we have completed zero battles, we have zero Prometheum. And we click Add Fighter. We need our leader, obviously. The Justica, we'll call him Justin. Justin the Justica. I love that you also have the option to add uh, some backstory or some notes. Then we'll add a specialist. We'll call him Mercurian. And lastly, we'll add a Truba. And we could name him Tristan. So <clears throat> now it's added our three kill team members, and then you can see here it already giving uh, given them the storm builder. So and it tells us that we have to equip the hand weapon. So that's pretty neat. And let's give him a demon hammer, since the kill team is called Hammer of Justice or Truth. And for the gunner. It knows that we have to choose either a special weapon or a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. So we'll give him a side cannon, because I love side cannons. They're really cool. And finally, for Tristan, we'll give him a Demon Hammer 2, fitting with the name. So that should be, yep, that's a thousand points. So now we've created a kill team. We click the finalized kill team. Okay, and bam, here it is. And if you want an even neater uh, view of it, you can click and see it in, uh, in a more compiled version. And I know that uh, that Cadian Shark is also working on a printable uh, format, so that you can just print out your sheet once you clicked it in, which is awesome, I think. And I also uh, talked to him about adding the option to uh, upload pictures of the models or or some cool art that you think represents the the f figure to the profile. And and he said that's also uh, somewhere down the down the road. But <coughs> all this you could technically also do with Battlescribe, even though this is just uh, I think. Uh, somewhat and somewhat nicer and you can feel it's made for Shadow War. But where this really blew my mind is let's say we've uh, played a game with this three man kill team. Mercurian has been taken out of action and we've lost the battle. We say complete battle. They all took part. Did anybody suffer serious injury? Yep. Mercurian did. What happened to him? He had a painful recovery. 
did how many uh, catches did we receive? Just one because we lost the game. Who did we choose to advance? We chose Justin the Justica. And he got skills. Uh, he was not slain. We choose to uh, rearm. And we don't want to trade Prometheum for points. There were no hidden cash and we lost. So we don't get that. Save changes. If you notice up here, uh, it's calculating them and looking really neat. And then when we get to our rearm, there is a little link here telling us that we need to add a skill. So let's say he took combat and got step aside. Boom. Now it appears with a bit of text telling us what's going on. I think that's really cool. And for our uh, rearm action, we can go in just like when we created the kill team and say, let's buy some grenades for him and for this guy we want red dot side to his side cannon. And notice how cool it is that it actually asks you what weapon you want to attach it to and stuff. And we also want a photo visor. Now he is definitely a dangerous gunner. 40 points remaining, so let's say Tristan gets black grenades too. That should leave us with 15 if my math is not completely off, so enough to give the leader a photo visor as well. Boom! Finish rearming. Okay. And now the value has changed. We can see that we have one completed battle. We can see who were in the battle. So if we hire a new guy, he would have zero battles completed. We have our one Promethium catch. And it also does some math for us out here, showing us how many percentages we are using across the board. So that's the main feature of this site. And I think it's really cool. What's also super cool is when you go to my kill teams, you uh, you can have as many as you want, and as you just saw, post battle sequence is super easy to update. So, whenever you play the game, even if you're still using the regular sheet, I, I'd suggest go in update, because if you lose the piece of paper, and I've done that more than once in these skirmish games, it's a pain to uh, to recreate and most times you just have to start over. Another really cool feature is if you go to the profile you have a public page showing your kill teams so you can take that link send it to a friend and say hey I have these three more bands uh, made up which one do you want to play against or stuff like that and also um, if you are doing battle reports, it would be really cool to uh, attach a link uh, to this page in the description so people could follow the progress of the character sheet or the kill team sheet. I, I'd really suggest that to uh, to producers of that kind of content out there. So this feature by itself, actually, I think takes this leaks and other kill team generators I've seen. But there is another one more thing that I think is really, really cool, and that is that you can browse kill teams. So let's say our Grey Knights wanna, uh, want some inspiration of where to go in the future. We can go in and we can find somebody with battles completed or just look at what other people are doing. Um, see our own kill team here but we could also say take a look at what the pure blade have in there they've chosen to arm their guys a bit different and they've chosen to uh, sacrifice a Prometheum to recruit a new guy after their first game and I like that that you can go and get inspiration 
Also, if people uh, have written some background or some description for their uh, for their guys, that will show up too when you go and look. And, and that makes uh, sharing a kill team really fun that you can give each character a bit of background story and make it come to life, so to say. So yeah, that's it uh, for now. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, I know that uh, Katie and Chuck has a lot of, uh, of stuff brewing for this uh, really neat web page. And if you check out the change log, you can see that since launch, there's been massive updates pretty much well, actually every day. I really, really recommend this site. I know weapon profiles will be added. Shadow Warzone, I can't recommend it enough. I think next time I make a campaign, I'll make a profile for that campaign so that all the warbands in the campaign are on the same page and everybody goes in there and update. That would be really cool, I think. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all. Take care and bye-bye.